When I was in high school, I had a friend. He was also my desk mate. You know, we share a desk with another guy in high school. And he told me a lot of his horror experiences while we were taking classes. Of course, the more horrible thing was, sometimes we were caught by the teacher. Anyway, in this video, I will share those real horror experiences to you. Warning, this video may have some horror plots. Please think twice. By the way, I'm light man. Well, my friend, just call him, um, subscribe, yeah? When my friend subscribed was a primary school student, one day during the summer holiday, he was playing with other kids in front of a house, which was also in his community as well. A man living in that house killed his own wife and his wife's parents, and he wanted to suicide. He used a knife to cut his throat, but when the knife stabbed into his neck, suddenly he regretted he didn't want to die, so he tried his best to crawl out of the house and ask for help. In order to help you guys think of this image, I made an animation. Yeah, just like this, but maybe slower. I think you can guess what happened. My friend, subscribe, a 7 year old kid, saw the man fall of blood with a knife on his neck, creeping on the ground, staring at him. This experience gave subscribe a big shock and made him have nightmares every night. At the same time, the experience also opened a door to a more scary world for him. A series of horror things happened one by one until he went back from the hell. In order to let subscribe get rid of this horror memory fast, his parents decided to move out to a new place. But they moved so hurried that they could only find an old apartment and there was only one room available which was on the fourth floor. Maybe you guys couldn't get it, I can explain it. Four sounds like death. In Chinese, thus some Chinese people think this number means bad luck, just like 13 in some Western culture. Okay, back to the story. The first day they moved into the building, the surroundings gave subscribe some weird feelings. First, this building was very old. There was even a lot of ivy creeping on the wall. Second, there were three other buildings next to this building. Those four buildings get together create a closed space, just like this. According to Feng Shui, a Chinese philosophical system to explain the invisible forces which can be brought by the position of architecture, the closed space created by the four buildings will generate and accumulate fury from people and nature, then will provide good conditions for ghosts. The third thing is most horrible. The room which was next to their room looked like a deserted room. No one was living there because there were four of mugwort and a huge rusty lock on the door of the room. You know, in China, mugwort is for driving ghosts away. Those three things made subscribe really uncomfortable, but he was too young to reject it, and his parents had already paid the rent. He was in primary school, so normally he could go back home earlier than his parents. And every day when he passed by the scary room, he could hear someone was playing violin in there. But the door was locked, so he always ran to his home. But even though he was in his room, the violin sound was still floating around his ears. The weird thing is, when his parents got back, the music would stop. He also told his parents about this, but they don't believe him. They thought he could hear some weird sound just because he had that horrible experience. Finally, one night, Subscribe suddenly woke up in the midnight, and he saw there was a thing standing beside his bed. He was really scared. He wanted to shout and run, but he couldn't move. He couldn't open his mouth. His heartbeat got faster and faster, stronger and stronger. Almost a jump out of his chest through his throat. Gradually, when his eyes were adapted to darkness, he realized the thing looked like a human being. Specifically, a woman with really long hair. And it was slowly moving to him. Suddenly, a face showed up in front of him. This is the scariest face he had ever seen and he would never forget. According to my friend's description, I drew the face and he fainted. The following day, he couldn't get up and had a high fever. His parents Harry sent him to the hospital and the doctor said, it's acute appendicitis, needs surgery. Before the surgery, a nurse injected him with too much anesthetic that made him be in a coma for three days. Subscribe told me, during the coma, he had been to a strange place where there was a mosque in darkness. What he could see were a group of people standing around him. 
and they all only showed their backs to him. Subscribe was in the middle of them. He felt really weird, so he patted one of them and wanted to ask where it is. The guy in front of him obviously felt it, so he started to slowly turn around. At the same time, Subscribe heard there was someone calling his name. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. He looked around and finally made sure the voice was from the sky. The voice was getting stronger and stronger, louder and louder. All of a sudden, he felt he was floating up to the sky so fast. He opened his eyes. He saw his parents and the doctor all standing around him. Subscribe told me he thought he might have been in the hell, or at least in front of the gate of the hell. And those people standing around him were someone who would lead the ghost to go into the hell. He considered if the guy completely turned around and showed his face to him, maybe he would be completely died. So lucky, he heard his father's call and woke up. Ah, the nurse who gave him injection was fired.